Hi everyone, and Dragon with you. So yesterday I received a message from Boxy, and here we have three gifts for you, for my random subscribers whose comments I will pick. So today's video is about two topics. First of all, I would like to tell you about the giveaway, and then I'll talk about the great storm and my new plan for this event. So let me start from part one. These are the rules which I would like to show you about the giveaway. So to participate, you need to provide your ID below my video. Please make sure to provide your account ID because some people provided something else and I could not pick their comments as winners. So I would also remind you that this is a Facebook giveaway. So unfortunately, I'm not able to provide the gifts for web players, but we have kind of same gameplay or almost same gameplay. That's why stay on my channel, but just uh, be ready that your ID will not work. Yes. So also here are the rules. First of all, write one comment below this video with your account ID. And uh, the ID part usually is not written. Why? Because YouTube really likes to delete the messages who have these two letters at the comment. That's why please get the letters, but don't write the word, okay? So just get the numbers below this video. Also, if you want to ask something, then feel free to do it. You can ask some questions or try to discuss something below the video, but only one comment with ID, please. Also, if you play several accounts, then choose one which is chosen by you for this particular giveaway. Let each person have equal chances to win. The next rule is subscribe to my channel. That will help me a lot and show your attention and actually we have time till the end of january so on the first of february i'm going to pick three random winners and uh, you will know that from another video which is giveaway results that's the rules so you see that uh, the gifts are still available let me show you what exactly is inside these gifts so that's my boxes if we press use you see that actually we have a typical account here. So team level, team experience, max hero level, account ID, that's what you need to type. Please, not the letters, but just the numbers. And then time zone account created. So if you press on your avatar, the same menu about you is shown, and that's what you need to do. So the first gift is uh, portals, gold, and boxes with energy potions with energy, I would say. Then we have Titan Spheres, Fat Eggs, and Keys. And the last gift is Skin Stones. So if you want something specific, you can also type what exactly gift you would like to get. And if it is still available, you get this gift. That's the rule. So that's about the giveaway, which takes place now. And uh, I will pick three winners, let you know and you'll get your prize. Okay, so let me move to the second topic of our today's video, the Great Storm. So the Great Storm is back, and uh, I'll just show you the quest real quick, because I already made several videos about this event. First of all, you log in, get some action points. Action points are used to move through the, I would say, maze of storm. Then we go VIP, so get VIP and get the prizes then we have buy emeralds so you see that except of uh, nice avatars and frames actually you get even more emeralds so is it a good time to do it i don't know it's for you to decide then we have nature's might so nature's might is about spending emeralds so if you don't have enough you can buy and uh, as you can see i try to just spend my daily income from arena and from other activities which are typical, so that's just my daily income spent here. You need 90,000, that's really a lot. Yeah, so you need to buy up to 70,000, 
and you need to spend up to 90,000. Then we have capturing battle locations. That's probably one of the best things I wanted to do because you just capture locations and get extra storm coins. Storm coins are used at the shop, you can buy whatever you need. So I'll show you the shop in a minute. And the, you are not supposed to do everything. You just get 45 and that's enough. So you get the storm spirit and that's okay. But if you get 53, then you get some more coins. Then we have spending energy. So also 15,000 energy is uh, not super a lot, but not little. You see that from my daily income and trading emeralds into energy, I got below 2,500. That's day two. Then we have Tree of Life gift. You need to use the pet summoning and uh, I wasn't prepared for this event, so I have only 18 now. But if you saved your portal charges, then it's time to use them, get more pet summonings and feel free to get everything. And finally, a reward for courage. So uh, I did everything here. Uh, that was the last thing. I guess I needed to collect 12 chests at adventures and I did it really fast. So you join the adventures, collect chests there, and if you succeed, then you get every single reward here. So that's the rewards for the Great Storm and uh, what you need to do. Let's uh, really quick move here and I'll show you my current plan. So if we check it out, you see that I picked one buff. I ignored the second one because I'm not sure if I have an extra point to get it. And my plan just slightly changed. So now I clear everything around the inner circle. The result, I know exactly where the extra chests are hidden. So one is obviously the first location at my map, and the second one is at surface, probably. So that's how I collect all the little chests here, and the last one will be picked after the central. So I plan to finish clearing here, then enter the inner circle, remove this power, then clear the boss, and after that I go straight to 42 and get my last chest. That's my plan of how I do the adventure, I would say. And let me very quick explain about the merchant. So there were many discussions what you need to buy, what you don't need to buy here. So at the Great Storm Shop you can get yourself some stones which you require, but usually you can get same stones at Adventures. So you see I, I even have more than I need of some of them. So actually if you are really interested in boosting your pets and not playing low-level adventures, you can get some stones here. But my choice would be pet soul chest. So I exactly know what I want from this event. I go straight into pet soul chests, get pet souls of who I need, and that's how I got all-star Axel. So my ultimate evolution of Axel was due to these pet soul chests. And now I'll probably spend them into Oliver or maybe Albus, I don't know yet, but still I need more souls. What about Storm Legacy chests? So many people say that Storm Legacy chests are super great, they contain curious particles, pet potions, and other prizes. Also, they contain several nice avatars. So if you are a collectioner, then Storm Legacy chest is a must-have thing for you. But actually, I get a lot of curious particles and pet potions from my daily adventures. So yes, I still need them, no doubt, because my pets are not maxed now. But now I would really like to get more souls. That's why I choose pet soul chests. But if you need just a general buff for your pets, then storm legacy chests are really nice for this purpose. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you. I think you will still remember the rules. So you just clear locations, improve storm resistance, and then you attack locations with curse power. I would say. So the more power is here, the less storm resistance you have, the more your damage is dealt with your entire team every second. And that's why before going into the inner circle, I would really recommend you to get more resistance. Unless you have a super Jew team or something like that, which just clears everything and does not care about the pure damage to the team. Okay, so that was all I wanted to show you. At the link below my video, I'll show my plans for this event in the past. 
So thanks for watching. See you in my next videos and good luck and strong health to you in reality.